Hi everyone! Today we're going to be doing the bubble mixture for frozen bubbles from scratch. So you'll see exactly how I do it to get awesome results. We're going to start with one and a half cups water. It doesn't matter what temperature, cold or warm. Put that in a jar that's going to be big enough to hold, I guess, about two cups of liquid so that you don't spill or won't have room to stir. So one and a half cups regular water. And then you're gonna take regular corn syrup, okay? And you're gonna need one quarter cup. You're gonna take that and pour it into your water and wait for it to drip. Or you can hurry it along with a spoon. Okay, so make sure you get it all so the measurement is correct. And then you're gonna stir it sticky at the bottom. Stir it until it dissolves. And you'll see when it's dissolved, it doesn't stick to the bottom anymore. There we go. So that's well mixed. Now you're going to take, um, I use a clear dish soap. This one's by Ivory. Any clear dish soap. I believe a colored soap would leave a stain on the snow. So if you're trying to make pictures, it wouldn't matter. You won't get a green bubble even if you use green soap. It doesn't work that way. But the, the bubble deposit that lands on the white snow will show as um, green, which is, you know, whatever. If you want green snow, then do that. So you're going to take your ivory clear liquid and you're going to pour that into your uh, dissolved syrup mixture, syrup and water. You're going to mix this slowly so that you don't create a whole bunch of bubbles in the mixture. And you can, again, you can see when the whole mixture looks kind of uniform, then you know it doesn't take as much mixing as when you were doing the corn syrup. There you go. Looks very good. That's it. Not complicated, right? Pretty easy. Then you label it because you don't want someone throwing it out or drinking it by accident. That is not going to taste good. And this will last you all winter. I start one jar now like this and I I don't use more than that. But if you run out, you just make more. Magic bubble mix, because that's what it is. Put a lid on it so that it doesn't change evaporation wise. And I just blow my bubbles with just a regular everyday straw and I reuse it. So I use the whole straw all winter long. Put a little elastic around your jar and you that way you can just store like that. After you blow your bubble, you come in, you rinse your straw, clean off any soap from the bottle, and just store it at room temperature. Um, I always try to take mine out a little bit earlier than I'm, when I know I'm going outside so it cools down. I wouldn't leave it out overnight or anything because I believe it will eventually freeze. So now we're going to head outside and I'll show you the rest of the process. I've set up a little, you need, you're going to need something to blow the bubble on and you're going to need snow. Snow seems to make it uh, stick and blow butter and stay longer. So it is a balmy oh it's oh it's zero today can you see that oh we've got a gorgeous sun going on here so if there's no light as in so it's an overcast day it's harder to see the crystals forming and definitely for photography you need light um, you can blow the bubble anytime it doesn't really matter but if you really want that frozen effect watching those ice crystals grow it's always going to be better with backlight so i need snow i'm going to go quickly get some snow i have lots of it to choose from now you're going to take your magic bubble mixture and just dip your straw in you don't inhale and hold liquid you just dip it in and enough collects on the bottom of the straw that you can just blow a bubble the first few never work. So expect the first few to never work. Also, if there's any wind at all, blow a smaller bubble. The bigger the bubble, the more fragile it is. Ready? And I don't really blow. I kind of exhale gently, like a sigh. See? Didn't work. Okay, there we go. Okay, and that often happens too, because 
once the crystal ice crystals start to form, then the bubble um, gets a little more firm and stronger against these little breezes. So I'm going to keep. Actually, I want to move to the sun. So I'm going to keep. Oops. And slide myself back to the sun. Oh. And let's just watch it. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera off here and hold it closer so that you can see. Look at those crystals coming up the back side too. You have the front, you have the front part here, but you also have the back side there. And see what I was saying too about having no light? It's really not as spectacular. So I guess if you're doing it with your children, bend down, get them to bend down low and look up into the, into the uh, light. Look at that close right up the top. What does this mean? Time for the next one. So there you have it. It's a beautiful day today. Not too cold, but normally if you come out of cold temperatures, hat, mitt, scarf, you're standing still. You want to be dressed warm. You want your children to be dressed warm. You want them to be happy because if they're cold and their feet are cold or their fingers are freezing, they're not going to think this was fun. That's it. I hope this seemed kind of easy and it's something you're going to want to do. It's super fun. Uh, photographing the bubbles is a different matter. This was really about just some of the little challenges about how to make them. It's really not a challenge. It's quite easy. Um, if it's windy, it's really not going to work. It's very frustrating to blow them and have them keep blowing away. So if you have a shed or garage or anywhere semi-protected by the wind, you could easily do it there. Um, the only thing is, again, without that backlight, it's really, it, it feels a little less sensational, still pretty cool. If you have any questions with anything that I've shown you, anything you think I've missed or you don't, didn't understand, um, just leave your comment or question in the comments under the video and I'll answer you. And anything else you'd like to see, like more about the photography aspect. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to stay here outside since it's so nice and blow some bubbles. Remember, patience, patience, move it to the sun.